as a young uh, boy, I worked in a farm and then I went to school and you come back from school and then you go back to the farm and you play soccer and if you get time, yeah, you go to church if you had to. High school, I had to go to the city and uh, uh, stay in the city, go back home uh, during the weekend, work in a farm and that was how it was uh, I finished high school. Opportunities were not available as much. Um, I had uh, this uh, American uh, college in Zimbabwe where my family uh, and other extended family members uh, sponsored me and I had went to that school and finished my uh, uh, bachelor's degree. Then after that, actually I had to do education and psychology and, and history and uh, went back and taught school for, uh, actually I worked at a Seventh-day Adventist uh, high school as a history and English teacher for a year. Then uh, went to another school, the Arab Community School, um, and taught there uh, for another year. When I decided to move to the United States, the situations, the political situations in, the, in Ethiopia were very unrest. I was a very young, I mean a very politically oriented and educated young man. Uh, I never agreed with the government, with Ethiopian government past or present at that time. So I knew from the very beginning that uh, it was, I did not have any place there. I had to find my ways to uh, live my life. Uh, then I, you know, had a visa, a United States visa, and uh, I knew when I was leaving that I was not going to come back. On August 16, 1992, I arrived in Minneapolis, uh, 1401 Portland Avenue South, uh, in downtown. It's an apartment building, uh, you know, a low-income apartment building. Uh, it still did not matter. It was a very beautiful apartment for me. I have not. I never saw, I had never seen a beautiful apartment like that prior to that. So I thought America is different. I thought I could speak English and even teach English back home, but I, then I came here, I thought I didn't know English. So I had to focus on my language skills. And then I also had to focus on how I could go forward and join a graduate school. Well, as going to graduate school, I also knew that I was working as a security guard. I was working as a university um, in the university as a you know as a housekeeper, and then I was doing other things. Then, uh, when I was doing security guard, I also was taking advantage. I was also studying at the same time, doing my homeworks. Was hired by Minneapolis School District to help um, uh, principals and, and, and teachers with children who have behavior problems. Then I decided to find a second job to supplement my income, which was driving a bus. Weekend, during the weekend, I could still make over 40 hours with overtime. I started making more uh, more money and uh, interested in, uh, you know, I, uh, what benefited, what helped me to do more hours was the fact that I grew up in a village doing very hard farm work, uh, could, could uh, make everything that I did very simple for me. Then I was also thinking about, well, if I could drive a bus like that, I think I can also um, find my own um, business and do it, why not? Then I started uh, this metropolitan uh, transportation with my wife's minivan and then with uh, uh, the, the taxi cab I owned. And uh, t that's where I am now. On the weekend, I, I'm a farm boy and I love the farms. In the summertime, my hobbies are going out to, driving out to the farm and looking at animals and, and, and the cornfield and uh, everything else.